back to throw. Valentin. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is fielded at the 27. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And here's the Virginia Beach offense out and ready to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. This is taken at about the 14. That's a 49-yard punt, eight, though, on the return. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll bring up second down. Now this going to be a quarterback draw. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Brings up third down and two. They'll try and run for it with four down. And he will have a first down as they get into the ground at the 37. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And Charles, if this new pickup can run like that, they're going to be very happy that he was on the free agent wire. A lot of people said, how was he there to begin with? One of the great questions, one of the great mysteries. But now that they have him, you just know the offensive staff. They're not worried about giving him the full playbook, just things that he can do well. Defensively, they're going to have to do something about him in a hurry because that last catch puts him over the 100-yard mark. We haven't even hit the second quarter yet. And you did say they'd have to do it in a hurry. It has to be right now because as his confidence grows, it'll actually overwhelm the defense. No matter what they do, he'll feel like they can't stop him. Throw left side, complete to McLeod. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, here's second and six. Second and six. The slot man in motion right. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Operating from the gun, Valentine. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. On to the second quarter, Mexico City in possession. As they've got it, looking at a fourth down and two. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and instead of tying it up, They'll remain down by three. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. From the 46, here's second down and seven. 
the 46 yard line. Out of the gun is Minshew. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a gain of five, and now it's third and three. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 54 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. On second and 10, it's Minshew. Touchdown! Jamison Williams. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Voyagers are able to add on to that lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. The Clearly one of his quarterback's on favorite targets point. in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. The extra point splits the uprights. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jalen Waddle, the speedster wide receiver, brings out this offense, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Again, it's Fournette. There he goes, left side. 31 yards there to first down. They finally caught up to him there at the end of the play, but great inside handoff, and what a powerful run. The first few yards seemed relatively easy. Then it got tougher, right? And that's where he showed that he was not going to go down easily. He was not going to be denied until he got everything he could out of that run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. They'll run here with Moss. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Thunderbirds have cut it back within a score. And a nice little start to the career for the rookie here, hitting the end zone in week one of his career. And that's a true welcome to the NFL moment, isn't it? The one that you actually like. A lot of times it's that big hit from a linebacker that says, all right, Rook, here you are. <laughs> but when you're able to put it in the end zone and feel that sense of accomplishment, that usually fuels you towards doing it many more times in your career. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. A Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him, maybe even have a third person in the area, and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while, because I don't know that their talents are his, because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The offense back out. There's the veteran bruiser, the running back, Leonard Fournette. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. This is second and eight. At the 14-yard line. They'll go again here with Moss. A beautiful fake. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Looking to throw. Valentin. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. And goal at the five-yard line. They'll go up the middle here with Moritz. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Back to throw. Valentine toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And his kick is indeed good, and that will tie things at 17 all. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they had the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three at the 36-yard line. It'll be Minshew again. Over the middle, that's 
caught by Woods. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But that's what they have to do more defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Minshew, that's into the hands of Edwards. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he is caught. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Minshew sets to throw. A hit as he throws there incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Quickly here, and that's complete. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now what we have here, a third and goal. They'll look to throw again. Touchdown! Jamison Williams on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Voyagers have taken the lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out, and soon. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Third catch in his first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good start, throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, Valentin. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Looking to throw on second down. Valentine looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. Back to throw again. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They'll run a draw now with Moss. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Looking to throw. Valentin has taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Operating from the gun, Valentine steps away to his left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Thunderbirds are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. But Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel you that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin our trip around the NFL with an interesting one right off the bat. And it's the visitors who are out in front in the second quarter. Josh Palmer, a touchdown reception. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Juju Smith-Schuster, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Chris Godwin, a touchdown reception. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. But Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now... They would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know if that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. On second down, Minshew 
And this will be caught by Edwards. Call it a gain of three on the play. And now we've got a third and four. Here's Minshew. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Minshew, first and ten. And a short throw pulled in by Woods. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Completes this one to Thornton. And he's got this down to the 35. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Now Minshew on first and ten. Well, this is caught by Williams. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Minshew. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That will do from the start. But they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. On first and 10, it's Swift. Brought down at the 20. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On second down, Swift. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Looking to throw it, Minshew. That's complete to Dell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now Minshew. Pass incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. That's complete, right around the eight. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. On fourth down, Mike Vrabel says, let's get three out of this. He sends on the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is right there. It's good, and they have regained the lead. And they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. And able to get this out to the 25. 
Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw. Valentin. That's caught. Waddle on the left side. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him a first down. Off play action, Valentine. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And one more time, here's Kirk. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? But to me, that one was pretty easy to see. I don't understand what he's upset about. I think it was the correct call. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense and he'll get four here down to the 35 yard line so it's third and six and this will be the eighth play of the drive looking to throw Valentin working the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. I love the drop they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Valentine. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. Yeah, he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. He was covered by Patrick Sertan. Throwing again. Valentin. Quick slant caught by Kirk. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. And his kick here is good. And that's going to tie the ball game at 27 all. So matching field goals here to begin this third quarter of play, and we are tied again. And this is how it's been all game long, very much like a boxing match. Each team counterpunching each other, neither gaining a clear advantage. This taken in at the goal line, and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well.
Swift going to try up the middle. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Here's McLeod on the return. 47-yard punt, a return of four. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Throwing quickly, this is caught by Kirk. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Now a give running left with Moss. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Second down and four. Looking to throw. Valentine. Oh, pitch and catch to the tight end. Knox. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. Back to throw, Valentin. And that'll be incomplete. A good play on the ball, getting a hand on it, but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete. And that leads to way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense. And this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play. Tip it up in the air, grab it yourself, take it the other way. But sometimes that can backfire. How do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight reel play that could backfire? Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Let's just go and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. They'll get that out wide to Waddle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They'll look to throw again. And he's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Mexico City. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. On first and ten, Valentine. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. 
That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. To throw on second down, Valentin. And it's caught. Touchdown. Christian Kirk. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Thunderbirds have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Extra point right down the middle, and they will take a seven-point lead. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. But the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Throwing on first down is Minshew. Going to Woods, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Oh, this is a great play right here by a very versatile linebacker. It's a zone defense, so he's responsible for one area of the field. And Brandon, I don't think the quarterback ever saw it. Or if he did, he saw him too late because he snuck into a great position there to pick that one off. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Moss on the give up the middle. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Here now, second and four. Brings up second and four. Operating from the gun, Valentine. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six. And it's caught. Touchdown. Dawson Knox from eight yards out. And the Thunderbirds are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. Throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. He's got his man, Thornton. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 
Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Here's a handoff to Swift. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And the Virginia Beach first down. Minshew sets to throw. A short throw pulled in by Woods. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and seven at the 35-yard line. Here's Minshew. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Out of the gun is Minshew. He's going to wind up and air it out. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Now second and seven from the 23. Brings up second and seven. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards, a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On the handoff, it's Moss. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand. They're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. right back to Moss. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. On the counter, this is Moss. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. 
They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Hey, we could easily read his mind there. There was just no place to go. Tried to bounce it and get outside on the draw. Yeah, but the defense wasn't thinking pass. They knew that they were running. And I love the way that they covered all the gaps. You know, we can do all the lettering and the numbering and all those things, but those run fits that we talk about all the time, each person fitting in the proper spot on defense, you see the end result when they do that. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. But the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Minshew throwing on third down. And that's incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. On fourth down, Minshew. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It well, didn't work out. They must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, it must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. A game of three brings up second and goal at the four-yard line. Looking to throw. Valentin. Touchdown! Dawson Knox. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Thunderbirds are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. But the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First down, Voyagers. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now a second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now Minshew. In trouble and he's taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. 
Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach has plenty to say about this game. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Got his man. It's Thornton. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. The decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. On the give, this is Moss. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's a give to Moss out of the shotgun. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. To throw on third down, Valentine. And to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him a first down. And normally, you might say, start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. And they run the option here on first and 10. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Moss is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Mexico City, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Virginia Beach, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.